So we're back in the kitchen and we're going to do some baking today. Uh, today uh, we're going to bake one of my favorite cakes. I love carrot cake, but I don't like all the calories, Krista. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you a few tips on baking to make it a healthier version of carrot cake and one that you can live with. So we've measured out our flour and we've got a great little tip to show you how to aerate the flour. And today in the mix we're using part all-purpose flour and part whole wheat. Okay. That gives us extra fiber and whole grain into our carrot cake. Why don't you go ahead and add the rest of the dry ingredients and that's our cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, a little bit of salt and now all of our dry ingredients are done. Let's put the batter uh, beater into the blender mixer and um, we want to add one more dry ingredient to our mix and that's beautiful nutmeg. Okay. Now you can use the canned nutmeg but you don't know how long that's been in your pantry or on the shelf. So it's best to use a beautiful fresh nutmeg and just grate it off into oh. the paper. In yeah. my kitchen that can of nutmeg has been in there for quite a while. And, and I would bet most people would say the same. This is just a, a, a rasp or a, a grater and you just there that's beautiful that's enough beautiful fresh nutmeg smell how beautiful mm -hmm. that smells yeah? it smells great okay so now let's put the wet ingredients into our mixer okay we're going to start off with three egg whites and one whole egg uh, we're going to add the yogurt this is a greek yogurt instead of just plain vanilla yogurt and it's a zero fat high protein but it's also got the probiotics okay and that's six ounces of Greek yogurt. Because we use the Greek yogurt, we only have to use a quarter of the oil that would normally be in a carrot cake. And this is a quarter of a cup of uh, canola oil. Canola oil, I was gonna ask. Uh, that's where I get hung up, is in that section of the grocery store, there's all those oils in there. I yeah. never really know which one I'm supposed to pick. So you wanna get a canola that's first press. Okay. Cold press. And now we're gonna add a little bit of uh, vanilla. Make sure that it's a, a real vanilla and not an artificial vanilla. Um, the next part is the sugar, and this is where we can save a lot of calories. Even this reworked recipe mm -hmm. has a cup and a quarter of sugar. And today I'm using a mix of coconut sugar and plain white sugar. But we're only going to use half of this. Okay. So pour in half of the amount of sugar into our, into our mixer bowl. Yep, a little bit more. How's yeah, that? That's fine. Yeah, just a little bit more of the coconut if we can oh, get okay. it. Okay. And so that's going to cut a lot of calories right away. Let's get that started and get those eggs incorporated. It only takes a few seconds for the um, mix to be incorporated. And now we're going to uh, add the dry ingredients to the mix. Okay. So this is a great trick to use parchment paper and just fold it in half, fold up the bottom, and now you've got a much more flexible vehicle to get the flour into the bowl. Let's turn the mixer on. You can put all that flour in, and it doesn't go all over the top of your counter. It's wonderful. And we're just gonna slowly incorporate that and mix it in. Mm. Make sure you wipe down the bowl at the end and that'll make a really great batter for our carrot cake. Of course, what's carrot cake without carrots, pineapple and nuts? So let's add the freshly grated carrot and we can add that into the, the bowl. Let's mm. add the pineapple. We've got some, if whenever possible, use fresh pineapple. If not, use the pineapple in its own juice. And then the last but not least are the walnuts. Okay. Now if someone has a nut allergy, they wouldn't want to add those. Is you there can always add seeds like chia seeds or okay. sunflower seeds. But you want to get the uh, good fats that nuts and omegas uh, come but with, with chia and sunflower. There's so many ingredients with this dish. This is a great opportunity to have your kids involved because they can help pour the ingredients in the bowl. Yep. And now we don't want to overbeat 
the mix. We're going to bring that down and with a spatula or spoon, just bring that down ready to put into our muffin pan. If you grab the muffin pan and the, and the um, ice cream scoop, let's just tape that over here. I like to use an ice cream scoop because it helps me to have the right portion uh, per muffin or, or bread. Okay, there we go. And if you scrape off into, and you could spray these or not, just scrape them off and do it at least a full. There you go, and that's perfect. So it's safe to say that dessert is, is everyone's favorite. So what are some tips to not overindulge? So by doing muffins instead of a loaf, you can uh, do portion control and that you always know that you're getting the right amount into the, um, or the, the right portion size for your Oops. diet or for your um, uh, weight control. So Kristen, this is a healthy uh, dessert to do or, or cake to do mm -hmm. because we've added fresh carrots, fresh pineapple, nuts, and we've cut down on the sugars as well. The natural sugars from the carrot and the pineapple will make up the difference that we left out on in the bowl earlier. Now these are going to bake at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. All right. And there we have it. 12 beautiful carrot cake muffins. Looks great. Helping an employee make better food choices is just one key to improving their health. At Uliance, one of our missions is to promote genuine, long-lasting change. We do this through dedicated wellness coordinators, wellness coaching, and comprehensive programs like this one that can be customized to meet your needs.